So with Caitlyn now running for governor, it seems that the Kardashians and others related to Caitlyn are reacting and they don't seem to be pleased, guys. Some of this is going to be very awkward. I mean, it's practically already awkward right now. Hey guys, it's Marad Marali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. So, we obviously have Caitlyn Jenner, who has decided to run for, um, I was about to say prisoner, <laughs> decided to run for governor, and it seems that the Kardashians all will not be publicly endorsing Caitlyn at all because they don't think that she's going to win and in actual fact she is clashing with Kim Kardashian currently because Kim is extremely disturbed by the former Olympians recent tweets. Caitlyn announced that she's running for California governor on Friday and she's already making waves with some of her political statements. On Friday the 71 year old tweeted her thoughts about prison reform which contrasts greatly with her former stepdaughter Kim Kardashian's stance on the issue. Jenner, a Republican, wrote, Gavin's district attorneys across California are releasing dangerous criminals back to our streets. Enough is enough. The former Olympian was responding to a story about a seven-month-year-old baby who was allegedly, you know, killed by a man who was reportedly already arrested twice this past year on charges and was later, later released. A source told TMZ on Monday that Kardashian was reportedly disappointed and disturbed by Jenner's position. Kim believes Caitlyn's tough on crime mindset is reminiscent of Trump's. It only hurts communities because it costs taxpayers more and fails to address the underlying reasons why people commit crime, the outlet reported per the source. Someone also said um, that she isn't even making sense with her tweet in terms of about the um, Gavin's district attorneys across California. I really think Caitlyn is somebody who doesn't know how to read the room. Nobody asks you to be a governor, nobody asks you to play this role, but yet you feel like you need to do it and I don't understand why. I just don't think that she needs to go down this route. It's also now been reported that Brody Jenner, you know, Caitlyn's son and, you know, um, Brody's other siblings, they are all embarrassed about what Caitlyn is trying to do and she just doesn't need to go down that route. Very similar with the masked singer kind of move, very different movements, but both of them are going to be embarrassing for her and she's unable to see that transparency because she cannot read the room. Ultimately speaking, I do feel like I don't think Chris is behind this and I also feel like um, it wouldn't be a great move for Caitlin at all. Yes, it helps with her PR. Yes, it puts her name in conversations. But I think running for a political stance, political movement in that field, not knowing what you're saying and the stuff that you're, you, you know, just talking absolute nonsense, it doesn't work with you in the long run. And I honestly don't believe Chris has, Chris has anything to do with this specifically. I feel like she might have helped her here and there. But with stuff like this, I feel like Caitlin is doing this on her own accord because I can't see why Chris would even try to, you know, if she were to go with this, she would publicly endorse him. The fact that all the Kardashians have expressed that they are not going to be endorsing this. Kim is recently disturbed by a lot of comments that she's been making. And also, Brody Jenner is very publicly embarrassed by, you know, Caitlyn doing all of this. She just isn't able to see how embarrassing she's being. She can't read the room, doesn't have that transparency, doesn't have that understanding, that relatability factor, and seems to be very confused. When you have those traits, it's just pretty sad. Pretty, pretty sad. Combine that with the public eye, hot mess. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this quick five, four minute video. What are your thoughts? Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Buy my merch if you guys want to, guys. This whole Caitlyn situation, it's not that serious because, actually it is quite serious because I really hate it when we have public people, whether it be YouTubers, whether it be, um, celebrities, whether it be whoever you are, um, basically, and you're trying to run into a political world, when you don't know what you're doing, what you are doing is that you're taking away votes from actual political people that we need as, you know, to be put at the forefront. An example is Kanye West. So many votes that he took trying to be in the front runner, whatever, of course, he, what he was doing, tactically speaking, it was helping Trump because it was taking some votes away from Biden. And that in itself is very manipulative. We don't need you to be there. We don't need you as a political asset. You're very talented with music. Stay in that genre and keep doing what you need to do. But when you move out to the political world, your fans will do anything to support that. And that in itself would damage massively the outcome of votes. And that can damage you know, our lives in general when we have the wrong people 
and, and the front running this country. It becomes a hot mess. And I feel like people who, you know, go into boxing, whatever, but when you go into the political world, it can be very dangerous. And I feel like it can be very self-serving and it's just not needed. I feel like what you should be doing is promoting the candidates that you want to go forth with and, you know, more votes to them as opposed to dividing and split and splitting the votes because you've now put yourself into these races and it becomes a major issue. And it just, I feel like it's just very self-serving and it's just not needed. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel, click that button for daily and consistent content, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.